Welcome back, everybody. My name is Aprater54, aka Adam, coach in the Chesney Park Slowpokes. And today I bring you the draft analysis for Mythical Mayhem. It is another TDR special uh, where we are granted min, uh, maximum of two mythicals or restricted Pokemon that include legendaries. Uh, there are some that are not classified as that, like Chen Pao, Chiyu, uh, the Zapdos trio, uh, Walking Wake, and Iron Leaves. So, we were given 87 points to draft exactly 10 Pokemon in our draft pools. And this is going to be interesting because it is open Terra. That meaning, but there is a twist. With the six we bring each week, we have to, in team preview, give our opponent their six Terra types to each other. So, we won't know until right then, right there, what we have. So, that's going to be interesting. But without further ado, let's hop on into this. I decided why not hit hard, people were getting toys, I ended up getting Zacian Crown. Granted its ability got nerfed and uh, Behemoth Blade no longer does double damage, but the odds of me switching this out are very slim to lose the attack boost. So we are going to just call it a day with that. So this hits incredibly hard, gets plus one attack when it comes in. Behemoth Blade, uh, Play Rough, gets access, I believe, to Iron Head Zed, Headbutt, uh, I believe Psychic Fangs as well. Can just overall just hit hard. And base 148 speed is nothing to laugh at. That is faster than Dragapult. But is still like the third slowest thing in sorry fourth slowest thing in the game because Reggie Alecki exists then it's both electrodes then it's this thing then Zamazetta and then Pulp which is incredibly valuable just to be able to outspeed and bash things is amazing uh, this even gets access to Sword Stance now, I believe, and gets access to Quick Attack, so that is a form of priority to Bash and Trick Room. Or just, if I know Trick Room's going up, set SD, sit on Quick Attack. Now I can stay in, in Trick Room, even though my speed's so massive, which is incredibly good. Uh, Zamazena looks so fun to use. And pair it with my second overall pick of Chen Pao. It's absolutely insane. Chen Pao lowers the defense of everything on the field, including my own Zacia. But that plus one attack going into a minus defense buff, everything, even a resist, has the potential to get absolutely nuked which is incredibly scary and i look forward to using this this gets access to ice charge sucker punch psychic fangs gets access to recover to heal its own damage back gets access to sacred sword to bypass defense raises gets access to taunt gets access to crunch Ice, uh, Icicle Crash. Granted, I wish it got access to a double hitting ice move, but it doesn't. But hey, I can deal with that. This being able to counteract Trick Room as well with its dual stab priority is amazing. Uh, and I look forward to seeing what this does compared with the rest of the team. Uh, you can see a theme starting here. I have minus defense. I'm going to get things that take advantage of that, and I'm also going to get things that, theoretically, Chin Pao can switch into, Zacian can switch into, and just be fine. With my third overall pick, I ended up 
getting Sableye. Why not get one of the better prankster mods in the game? Because Quash is insane. Being able to make my opponent move last, including Trick Room, is insane. The way it works is their Trick Room goes last. If I set my own Trick Room to try and counteract that, if I know they're going for it, it'll turn it back off. Which can be vital in some uh, instances. Because if that is their out, I can reverse it immediately, be fine. This gets access to knockoff still, which gets rid of items. This now gains light screen, reflect, sunny day, rain dance. Gets access to thunder wave now, bulk up. It can be its own little mini setup sweeper. And then pound things with sucker punch, gets access to sa shadow sneak. This even gets access to Icy Wind, gets access to D Gleam. I can do a speed nerf with Sableye and then tack over the top, which is incredibly good. Access to Prankster Taunt, incredibly valuable when it comes to Trick Room. Uh, gets access to Fake Out, can block Fake Out. It's incredibly good. And I look forward to using this thing. This thing will be glue. It was glue and masters when people thought, oh, hey, what does this even do? I'll show you what it can do. <laughs> and I use Sableye in a dual format where it switched from singles to doubles, back to singles, or it was doubles, singles, doubles. And this thing just trolled. Granted, this doesn't get parting shot like Grim Snarl, but hey, it's natural bulk typing. And what it can do, especially with screens, is absolutely amazing. And it was good last gen when it didn't have screens or T-Wave or weather. Now let's play mind games. And then to pair with that, I came back and I grabbed Dialga. So that's Palkia. My dumbass said I saw IA and was like, oh... Mental error. <laughs> but yeah, this gets being Water Dragon is a phenomenal switch into the fire weakness for Chin Pao and for Zacian Crown. It also is a resist to electric water. Time for a resist to water unless it's freeze dry. And it can just be a bulky, bulky boy. Uh, neutral to ice, but times four a week to a freeze dry is not good. But this gets access to Trick Room, gets access to Bulk Up, gets access to Roar of Time with Hammer. X and O. This gets access to Spatial Run. I keep confusing um, the moves of the and Zacian. This is Spatial Run, which is a hard hitting dragon move that can't miss. It was phenomenally good. Being able to set Trick Room on this in some matchups is amazing because it can also pair with Room Service. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention in the beginning intro, there is Item Clause in this. So it's like regular Vage, as you see with Flat Rules, but Item Clause. So, for example, if I run Room Service Trick Room on this, that's it. That's the only thing that can have Room Service. But... Palkia hits so hard, both physical and special-wise, and its natural bulk is phenomenal. Uh, this can take advantage of the ability of Chin Pao, or this can also just hammer over the top with Sableye, just set, like, for example, Rain Dance, and then just spam Hydro Pump. Phenomenally good. This walls most water types, even in the rain. Also very good can also take advantage of sun and just be oppressive. So that's good as well. Uh, gets access, I believe, to Ice Beam, which can take advantage in Snowscape, become Terra Ice, and get a buff in defense. Oh, well, that is Palkia. We are going to get into the next mod. Galar Articuno. 
If you looked at my team, it is very prone to being intimidated. Alright. Gala Articuno with competitive says, No, homie. You're gonna give me plus two and special attack. This is not only a trick room setter, but a tailwind setter at the same time. So this behind screens can get the tailwind off, unless it's taunted. Be able to take advantage of stat drops if they go for icy wind, intimidate, etc, etc. And just be oppressive over the top. Granted, I want to be able to use the shiny. Hopefully it's genable. Uh, because I was not able to s find my sh uh, Pokemon Sword copy. So, I do not have my event shinies. So I cannot send them to home and to myself. That it's going to be. Very unfortunate if I cannot get a, a hold of this via gen. It is what it is. I'll just use the purple one. But the fact that this gets access to Freezing Glare, which has a chance to freeze your opponent, uh, gets access to Calm Mind, gets access, I believe, still to Roost. I'll have to double check that. But it lost Defog. But it can make up for it with Nasty Plot, Calm Mind, Attack Over the Top, gets access to Agility, also can be Speed Control with that. It's a phenomenally good. And I look forward to using this mod. Next, we have Brillum. Yes, I know. Times four weeks to flying. It's fine. I'll work around it. But I got a Spore user. I don't usually go for Spore. I want to try it. Might as well get the weakest of the bunch, besides Fungus, and get Brillum. This also gets access to Technism. Technism Maka Punch is incredibly strong. This can pick off things in Trick Room with Choice Bandit and Mach Punch, which is phenomenal. This even gets access to Technician's Boosted uh, Bullet Seed, especially paired with Loaded Dice now. I can quash into Loaded Dice Bullet Seed and start picking off Mons. That is really good. Oh, even in Trick Room, Quash makes them go last. So if it is the fastest mod in Trick Room normally, it is now the slowest, which allows this to pick off things. Uh, I look forward to using this. I have never drafted a Breloom. I do not know how to use a Breloom. But we'll see what happens. Realistically, the only thing on this team so far I've used is Sableye and Chin Pao. I haven't used anything else, so this is going to be a learning experience. Next. We have Toxtricity. Another mod I have used, both in Masters for two seasons in a row and last time in Mystical Mayhem. Uh, this thing is incredibly good. This gets Punk Rock boosted Boom Burst and Overdrive. Overdrive is phenomenal in weather matchups, especially if against against rain or mons like Kyogre. The Terra Electric beating over the top of Kyogre, even though it has a high spedest stat, is amazing. <coughs> <coughs> and I look forward to using them. Granted, this gives me a times four weakness to ground, which is also uh, Zacian is weak to. It's going to be interesting. This also gets access to shift gear, so I can run a physical variant and smash over the top, which will be interesting in doubles. I mainly ran shift gear in masters because it was singles one week, and I was able to shift gear over the top, be faster, and then bring a physical variant to catch my opponent off guard. Will I try it in VGC? Yeah. Do I like fucking around and finding out? Yeah. So, without further ado, let's hop onto this. Oh, and normal gem, uh, normal gem specs, uh, or throat spray toxicity is nasty with boom burst. This paired next to Sableye allows Quash to go off, allows me to swing over the top, rinse, wash, repeat. 
Sableye's immune to the boom burst. There we go. We're going. We're trucking. And that is Toxtricity. We are going to move on into pick number eight. Orangaroo. Let's get a Trick Room Center that cannot be flinched. This plus a Mental Herb guarantees Trick Room can go off as long as it lives the turn. Because Mental Herb will prevent Taunt, uh, but it does not prevent Imprison. If Imprison is up, then Orangaroo is just kind of useless. But the fact that this gets Instruct to make my ally attack again is amazing. This and Trick Room, plus one of the slower mons, especially like uh, minus speed Toxtricity, I can Overdrive into Overdrive. That is a nuke. If they do not resist or they are not a ground type, that is a nuke. And then this even gets access... I believe this gets access to Icy Wind as well. Psychic Size Shock, um, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball. Being a immune to Ghost is nice, but neutral to Fighting is kind of a, a trade-off. Uh, this is weak to Dark, though, which I gotta work out for if I'm going to uh, run Trick Room. But this being a Spadef tank, I need to use it while smart. Oh, sorry. Wisely for specific matchups, otherwise it is going to die. Aggressive physical attackers are just going to run over the top of me. But this, paired with Sableye, can almost guarantee that the Trick Room goes off because of screens. And then I can attempt to try and set up or instruct over the top. In VGC, clicking knockoff into knockoff is kind of good. So we'll see what happens there. If I'm able to just set up with Sableye or be able to swap out into a slower Mon and Trick Room while clicking Protect after screens are up. That is also going to be phenomenal. It's going to just be a play by ear and see what happens. It is what it is. This is what this team does. It's all shenanigans. Essentially, this is an a, a, aggressive meme team. I have no idea if this so far is going to even work. Then, we've got Hsui and Ablog. I wanted wide guard. Why not? In a league where... Calyrex Shadow Rider and Calyrex Ice R Rider can Terra, Kyogre can Terra, Groudon can Terra. Having a wide guard is essential because that means their spread signature moves will not hit me, which is good. And this thing having a massive attack stat is also good. Paired with a Ranguru setting up Trick Room. This is going to hit very, very hard. Granted, it's but deaf. It's very weak. Uh, imagine throwing a rock at a piece of paper, and that is a suing ablux but deaf. It is horrible. <laughs> but its physical defense is absolutely insane. This is going to be an offensive tank. With the addition of Clear Amulet, this thing got better because now you can't lower my stats, you can't lower my attack, and then I can just Rock Blast over the top of things. Rock has limited resists, and the things that do resist it, this thing gets Earthquake for, which is really good. This also gets access to Iron Defense and Body Press, just like Avalog, and access to Recover. I look forward to using this. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can't guarantee it comes every week or <laughs> it'll come out at all. But when it does, it's going to be a trial and error experience. Next, I finally got to draft Slitherwing. And I'm excited. Granted, it's not the singles league I wanted it in because it goes too quickly for me to be able to build around it. But hey, I got Slitherwing with first impression, gets access to Wild Charge, Flare Blitz, uh, I believe 
No, it does it get split? It's either Flare Blitz or Flame Charge. This gets access to Leech Slive, gets access to Bulk Up Acrobatics. Uh, can get rid of its item, run Acrobatics, beat over the top, especially in Sun with Protosynthesis, can get rid of the item. Uh, access to booster energy is really great. The minus defense from Chin Pao allows this thing to just blow things back. Granted, it's another times four weakness to flying. I'll deal with it. Terra can overwhelm that. And I just look forward to just having something that can get its health back with Leech Life smacking over the top of things. Because most Trick Room setters don't resist this very well or are neutral to it because of their typing. Except for Mimikyu. So, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to see how this goes. And I hope you guys enjoy the team. And this is the overall team preview. Graphics brought to you by Brave. But yeah, we have Zacian Crown, Chin Pao, Sableye, Palkia, Articuno Galar, Breloom, Toxtricity, Rangaroo, Avalokasui, and Slitherwing. Tell me what you guys think of the team. And I will catch you guys for week one. Where I face another terrifying team in uh, Gazib. Coach of the Jersey Venusaurs. And uh, yeah. I have to deal with the giraffe. Have fun. Tell me what you think down below. And like and subscribe. Enjoy.